right now we're about to move this plastic so we can check out the beans and harvest anything that we can i'm hoping we get to keep some of the black beans at least we'll see <laughs> y'all this is pitiful um i'm thinking none of this is salvageable these are the green beans and look y'all it's like you can just squish them up so um i suppose if i wanted some mushy green bean puree this might be all right but it's they're not any good sweetheart we'll have to plant our fall garden earlier next year they're not any good Ain't not any good. Mm. The greens are doing fine, and I figured they would be fine. Uncovered, they would have been fine. My lettuce is still okay, but the beans just didn't make it. So, um, these are the black beans, these, and some of these. This last little bit is pinto beans, and they didn't even have time to flower yet, so I planted those way too late planted them in August I think it was I'll have to go back and look um, and I use the like my videos for reference as well so um, I'm gonna try to harvest some of these yeah. these black beans they look fine they smell fine which is you know important and you know these that are in the white things have already turned purple so these should be okay we are gonna pick these and that's all we have then that's that's okay so we're just a few minutes into this and I just realized that most of these beans are still white so they have a little bit of purple but this is not gonna be a very tasty black bean so instead of spending my time down here tonight trying to harvest maybe enough for a pint <laughs> like that might I might get enough for one pint um, not even a quart and I, I don't think that that's worth the time that I would spend down here. So instead, we're just going to start doing some general cleanup real quick and see what we can um, pull up and just be done for the season. We do still have tomatoes to work on for the next few days, and then we have lots of pecans to shell So um, and hickory nuts as well. So it's not like we don't have other things we need to be doing. Um, I ain't got time for this, so bye-bye, black beans. is starting to set here over freedom makers and i think i am done for the day i drug down the two by sixes and all the two by fours that were holding down the plastic down to the pole barn and so that's done the plastic is all uh well i didn't really fold it up i kind of crumpled it up and stuck it somewhere for the time being um, until somebody else is available to help me fold that i pulled up everything um bean wise the greens are still okay and i'm still holding out on the english peas I don't know maybe they'll bounce back maybe they won't this next week we're supposed to have rain like crazy and then after that it's supposed to um, get really cold again so um, today was the nicest day I think we're gonna have for a while so I wanted to get up what I could and the tomato plants back here I will probably work on those when we have our next sunny day or if in the morning it's not raining yet I may come back out here I don't know but dragging those two by sixes really took it out of me I think this next year just being realistic moving forward, I'm going to need some kind of help. So I don't know if we'll go with like a woofer program um, or try to find somebody willing to work for food. I don't know. Or maybe I can by then employ somebody for part-time help. 
I'm really appreciative to, to those of you over on Patreon. You guys are really helping me out. And um, I'm still working on the project that I showed you guys that you paid for. So we're still working on that. I'll show you guys here on YouTube once I get it done. Um, in the meantime, if you want to know, you can head over to Patreon and check that out. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. I really appreciate you just being here and sharing the journey. I hope it inspires you today. If you have any garden cleanup left to do um, to get that handled, winter's coming. And it won't be long now. So thank you guys. See you next time. Bye.